How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to show you how I camped stealthily in my car. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. If you ever try to create your own website, you actually have to use licensed images. Squarespace customers can access over 40 million images from Getty Images. They have a huge collection of high-quality images that you can use for just $10 each. It's important to know that when you're creating your own website, you have to use your own images or you have to pay a license fee to use someone else's images. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash beat the bush to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Well, this is not really my car, but I borrowed it, and this has allowed me to sleep inside there. I've cleared out everything, so this is what it'll look like to an unsuspecting person. They walk by, they see the front seats cleared out, the back seats cleared out. There's a box in there. You can see the box is pretty high up and then there's another box and then you can see the seat is down over here. I came up with the idea of writing donation on here to signify that, well, it doesn't contain anything all that valuable so then you won't be incentivized to break into this car. The back, you can't see anything. It's all cleared out. On this side as well, I'm gonna open the door so you can see it better. Normally this flap is up like this. So anyone coming by, if they shine a flashlight, they're not going to be able to see between these cracks that someone is sleeping inside. So this is my pillow over here. I have an air mat for camping. And then there's two other yoga mats here just to add a little bit more cushion. And then I have the sleeping bag. Normally the flap will be up like this. And I would leave a small crack in the window like this for air to go in. This is a little bit too big so I would probably have all the windows left a crack like this so people would go, oh yeah, you know, you're just opening up the crack so that, you know, if it's really hot, the air can escape. I would do that for every single window over here. This is probably a little bit too big a crack. As you guys know, I did this over in Hawaii and I had a crack way too big because I just couldn't breathe and if I didn't do it, I couldn't sleep at all. So the crack was <laughs> like almost half a window in order to have enough airflow. I have to note that I did try to sleep in this car um, in 100 degree weather by the time night came it was like still 90 or something and it was very difficult to sleep in I didn't get too much sleep no sleeping bag was needed and I also didn't use these boxes because these act kind of like an insulator and it's just gonna make it even more stuffy so this setup is only good for mild weather or cold weather would be okay as well i think as long as you have a thick enough sleeping bag for hot weather i don't see a way to get around this because you actually need the window you need some circulation you need the wind blowing um, in order to cool yourself enough so that you're just not sweating all night long so this is actually proven i slept in this last night uh, the weather was around 65 degrees Fahrenheit at nighttime and I got pretty good sleep. I woke up a couple of times mainly because the mat was not all that comfortable but it's basically the best sleep I've ever gotten in a car. But there's one tiny trick that required this. Normally when you're sleeping in the car, if you just have the windows cracked open, right, your head level would be somewhere over there and you would be generating all this carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is kind of heavy, so it sinks to the bottom of the car and it sort of kills off the oxygen. You've seen those experiments where uh, carbon dioxide kind of sinks to the bottom. So you end up breathing this high concentration of carbon dioxide and personally I'm very sensitive to this and I just felt like I was suffocating and I actually wake up because of that. So I woke up maybe two hours later of um, not having this special trick turned on and then I thought oh yeah okay I need to turn it on and once I did I can feel a lot of fresh air moving in all the carbon dioxide kind of got purged out let me show you guys how I did this so I thought long and hard about this what I did was you can see over here towards the back end we have the battery over here and down here you'll see I have a little piece of foam over here and there's this flap now, you need quite a bit of airflow in order to push this open. So what I wanted to do is put these things in here, open the flaps up permanently. And you see I have this computer fan kind of stuck on here, trying to blow air out of the car. Now, this is a pretty low spot 
in the car so all the carbon dioxide is going to get collected here and it's going to get sucked out of this fan and out of the car this is connected by this wire over here and one end is right here and you guys will know i reviewed this little battery bank thing this is lithium ion and then i made this plug to go in here and you can see now that this is on Ow. so i did this on purpose because i didn't want to uh run the battery dead if i run the battery dead in the car then i'm gonna be stuck somewhere right so i specifically wanted to put it on the battery bank the battery bank can run out and then i'll be like oh, okay that's the end of it at least my car is not dead it turns out this thing can actually run this fan a very very long time i used it the first night and it ran basically the whole night and it didn't even go from 100 percent to the 80 percent mark the fan over here is only a couple of watts and this battery bank i think it can provide 100 watts for one hour so it's a hundred watt hour uh, battery so if you do the math if it's like two watts for that fan times i don't know six hours eight hours it only consumed about 12 20 watt hours or so so this extraction of um sinking co2 was very very important it was critical in me being able to sleep personally so that i don't feel like i'm suffocating now this is what it looks like uh, sleeping bag here and crawling down over there so basically before you get inside you have all this set up you don't see anything you just go oh it's just some car no one's sleeping inside there's just two boxes over here but this box over here um, happens to connect from this side all the way to the end over here so you know you can't see there's not much spacing for you to see that there's a person inside although you could kind of guess oh yeah you know someone is laying in there but then you have you're kind of doubting yourself because this looks sort of clean and well uh camouflage if you will so before you get inside you just take off your pants and stuff because you don't want to sleep your pants on i'm going to take off my shoes because i don't want to step on all over my sleeping bag normally you would put your shoes inside you put everything inside and you start climbing in like that okay i'm climbing in okay Okay. Okay, make sure you have the key. I have the key over here in my pocket. Now I got my foot over there and I can close it now. Close. Now I don't got very much light. Hey look, that thing glows. So, I move up here. And this is what it looks like it's not very good for a person that's claustrophobic you got the pillow over here this is actually an ugly doll folded in half because i kind of like the thickness of it it turns out it's a little bit too thick it needs to be about uh three quarters the thickness on this uh in order to be the most comfortable when you're about to go to sleep for the night then you can go okay i'm going to lock everything now everything's clear all the lights are off lock and that's it now you can just start to go to sleep you know you can lay flat lay this way lay this way uh right now it's kind of starting to get really warm because uh the sun is out this car is turning into a uh kind of like a greenhouse so i i'm gonna get out now so this you you should only sleep in this thing at night uh so let me get out so in my view this is what it looks like. This is the roof of the car. This is the light. And if I really wanted to, I can like come up here, move this down to kind of take a peek at the outside surrounding before I get out. As well as uh, on this side. Coast is clear. Let me, I can get out now. Um, as well as, uh, as well as uh, up top, I can like sneak up here 
you know, take a look at what's outside. Front one is a little bit difficult because I gotta, I gotta go like this and I can sneak and take a peek. But basically I can't really get out through uh, this door over here because this box is kind of enclosed. If I wanna get out, I have to uh, crawl back out that way. So this top here is sort of, you know, high enough if I'm sleeping on my side. I noticed when I was breathing, I was touching it and it was making a little noise. So, uh, well, it could be like about an inch or two higher, but uh, this is what it is. So if I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna unlock it. I don't know if you can see, I can use my foot over here and then I can uh, pull this. You don't have to use your foot, right? This requires some dexterity, but you can also just push this button. That's easy, right? If I push it, it's gonna pop open, but let me use this toe here. Ah, oh, feels much nicer with that breeze. Coast is clear, no one's around. Then you can just kind of... I'm gonna... Okay, now that you're out, you put on your pants, you put on your shoes, and then you don't want to stick around wherever you park because people who kind of came in through the night, they might have seen your car and then go, oh, okay, that's just, you know, some someone's cars, maybe a friend's or something that went to someone's house. Then you want to just get out of there immediately so that people can't go, oh yeah, you parked there throughout the night. Now you are brushing your teeth or something. So just move to anywhere else, just a couple blocks away if you want, I, I don't know, wherever, and then do your stuff, okay? Do, do the rest of your stuff. So the first thing that you do when you get out, you know, get dressed and then immediately get in your car, drive somewhere else, just, just so that people can't like uh, connect you with having the car there um, overnight and you're getting out of the car look, looking like that you slept in it and that's it. So anyway, this is just what I did for a night. I guess I can't really recommend this because, um, well, a lot of people just frown upon sleeping in your car, um, sleeping in, you know, just some random street somewhere. So uh, it is what it is. Don't forget to give me a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of these methods. It's just things that make it work for me and oh for a few moments throughout the night i did get into sudden tiny panics because it's such an enclosed area and i suddenly go oh my gosh what if i you know suddenly i need to breathe and i need to get out like within a second or two so then i'm like oh, okay okay i had to calm myself down um for like two or three times throughout the night so like even though i'm pretty comfortable with small enclosed spaces that was a little bit too enclosed and I kind of scared myself into it because I'm like oh my gosh what if I can't breathe right so anyway that's that thanks for watching everybody don't forget to push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon thanks for watching